Look how small this road is for both of us to fit here. I got a dually and he's got a semi. Holy crap, these old farm roads are narrow. I've been looking through our video repertoire and I noticed that lately we have had zero DJI Mini 2 videos. So today we're going to do a Mini 2 test. We are going to pit the DJI Mini 2 against the Phantom 4 Pro that we're borrowing from our buddy. And we're going to see which one of these drones has the better precision landing. I know what you're thinking. These drones couldn't be more alike. Similar in size and shape. They got the same functions, right? They're pretty much identical. Now one thing I do know is the Phantom 4 Pro is supposed to have precision landing. However, in last week's video, you guys witnessed that it didn't really work out so well. We're going to make this test fair today. <laughs> We're going to get out of the truck and, and make these flights. I'm not looking forward to that. The main reason I'm not looking forward to that part is that it's already hot. It's only 1030, but it's almost 90 degrees already. We're almost to the spot up here. It's just outside the shade. So here we go. Let's look. Let's see. Is anybody here? Looks like we're alone, guys. Looks like we're alone. Sweet. Looks muddy. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get back into position here, then we're going to get this test started. All right, guys, we're here. All right, you guys remember the big culvert that blocks this off? They put a chain up there. I don't remember that chain being there before. They must be getting serious about blocking this area off. All right, let's walk back here and see what we've got to work with. So this culvert looks like it's been damaged because it wasn't like this last time either. I remember it being more intact. Hi, culvert. So what I think we'll do is we'll try to avoid the alligators. I think this spot right here will work. Not sure if you guys can see in the video the amount of bugs that's around me landed on my face. I don't like that, but I got a fix for that. These bugs are all over me now. I'm walking back to the truck now to get the drone so we can get this test up and going. Butterfly. Hey, buddy. Can I pet you? Oh, come on. Here, let me pet you. Here. Oh, you're working. I'll leave you alone. Here's my secret weapon. Whoops. <laughs> Heck yeah. Is that safe? Well, the first drone we're going to test out is Rose, our DJI Mini 2. She's right here. I don't know if you guys can see her or not. Let me, let me get a little bit closer to her. You guys see something different about her? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's got to do with this thing right here. One of my big concerns when I'm flying Rose is her gimbal. I mean, you guys can see that her gimbal is just pretty much out in the open. So if she crashes or whatever, her gimbal is going to get pretty, pretty destroyed. Well, anyway, I was looking through our stuff. When we bought this drone, we bought Rose from the Ginu guy several years ago. And he had a, a bag of stuff that, he, that came with it. Well, one of, the, one of the things that he had was this hood. It's a gimbal protector. So we got this and didn't even realize, I didn't realize that I had it until I was looking through all this stuff the other day. And I was like, you know what, that would be a pretty cool thing to try out. So the way that, the way that you put it on is, is you just put it on like the gimbal cover. You just click it in like that and it's on there. And you can store this in your drone bag with this on there. You don't even have to put the gimbal protector on it anymore. So it's one less step that you have to go through when you want to fly your DJI Mini 2. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, I wanted to test this out today during this flight test. This thing only weighs like two or three grams, I think. So if you're recreation and you have the DJI Mini 2 that weighs like 239 grams anyway, if you add this to your drone, it's not gonna put you over that limit. So you still don't have to get it registered with the FAA as long as you're recreational. My favorite part is that I don't have to take it off to put it away or to get it started. Quicker launch time. <laughs> I don't think this is a very good angle. I'm already sweating, so I need to get things set up right now. All right, I'm not totally set up yet. <laughs> Updated. All right, we got the home point updated. It's only got eight satellites though, so how did it do that? Oh, it's back to 10. It's in sport mode. What am I doing in sport mode? That's weird. Let me get over to normal mode. <laughs> well, since we've got our satellites, let's go over to the three dots and show you what we're using. We're using Rose, uh, her firmware and RC firmware and her aircraft firmware are all up to date. The app version is still at 1.13.8. And 1.13.9 hasn't become available yet for the RCN1 controller, so I'm kind of curious why. Come on, DJI, get on it. All right, let me get back to the screen here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, oh, I'm dizzy. <sighs> One thing I've noticed about this hood cover, if you can see, her feet are now off the floor or off the ground. The hood cover is resting on the ground, so that's going to be, I guess, her new landing feet, which is strange. 
Over here, it's the same way you can see that it's up in the air. I wonder if I'm supposed to put landing gear on her in addition to this hood. I'm not sure. I've got the landing gear because we got it with the droppy thing. Remember that giveaway that we did? That was fun. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that again one day. All right, back to work. I cannot see the screen. Man, that is a really dim screen. I don't know if you guys can see how dim the screen is in the camera, but man, I can hardly see it. So I'm going to have to focus on paying attention, I guess. Anyway, let me get Rose up in the air. We'll get her launched and we'll get her out a few hundred feet and we'll do a return to home and see how close her accuracy really is. All right, let me get her sticks pinched together, get her started. Take Actually, off. you know what? Let me stop that because what I've been told is is more accurate if you do the auto takeoff. So let me do that. Let me hit the auto takeoff and get her up in the air. Take off. We'll get her raised up. There she Home goes. Point is she still in the camera view? I think she is. Yeah, there she is. Look how steady she is. There's like no wind out here today. I'm going to turn her to the left or turn her to the right and then to the left a little bit. I'm going to go forward and backwards and do my side to side thing. Make sure that she's responding to my controls. And she sure is. Let's get a better look at that uh, gimbal cover. Come on, Rose, turn around. Why are you going so slow? <laughs> I'm going to pull her into the camera here so you guys can see the gimbal cover. Uh, as it sets while she flies. I think it looks pretty good. Check that out. Come on, Rose, do a little turn for us and model it for us. All right, I think, I think that looks good. Let me get her up in the air here, and we're gonna go out a couple hundred feet. We'll do a return to home, and we'll get her back and see how accurate she actually is with her, uh, with her return to home. We know that she's not precision. We do get that. Let me go ahead and hit return to home. She's gonna raise up to 160 feet or so, and. Uh, We'll see where she lands. Return to home. She's doing her 180. She might do a 90 degree. We'll see what happens here. I hope, oh, she's not gonna, she's flying back sideways. Let me get her turned all the way around so she's facing us. I think she's facing us. Yep, she's pretty much facing us. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna get the camera or the, the GoPro up in the air once she gets a little bit lower out of the sun. And we're gonna see exactly where she lands. I think it's going to be a close test. I think that she's going to be, why is she all the way over there? Man, it looks like she's way off. What the heck? Landing. Let me look down where she's at, because she might be over the, holy crap, she's over the, over the ditch. <laughs> she's way over there. I don't think that, um, yeah, I don't think that we're going to let this, I don't think we're going to let her land right here because she is like 15 feet off. Maybe I need to do a compass calibration with her because she's uh, very far off of uh, where she needs to be. I'm going to have to cancel this return to home. Maybe if I hit the pause button. But I do not want her to land in that. She might not land anyway. Let's see if she's going to decide that she's going to land or not. Are you going to land or, or what? I'm going to cancel it. I'm canceling it. <laughs> I don't want her to land in that dirt. Look at that. She is that far away from that landing spot or landing zone. We need to retry this. This was bad. All right, Rose, I'm gonna get you landed back over here on the pad where you belong. I don't know why you're so far off. I'm gonna get you landed and we're gonna do a compass calibration. Take two. We've got 33% battery left, so I think that's enough time for a test. Let's get her started back up. Take off. Get her up in the air. We're just gonna go straight up this time. I think to like 50 feet, maybe 100 feet. All right, let's get her return to home hit here. We'll have her turn all the way around to us, or 90 degrees like she usually does. <laughs> I gotta wait till she raises up so I can get her turned all the way around to us. I like it whenever they fly sideways, whenever they're coming home. But, you know, DJI took that away from us for the uh, Mini 4 Pro. There, I can see the truck in the screen now. The screen's really dark, but um, I'm telling you what, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I can at least see that. All right, so we got Rose right, right on top of us here. I'm backing up with the GoPro. I think she's going to pull the gimbal down herself, if I'm not mistaken. Are you landing or are you putting landing. the gimbal down? There you go. Put the gimbal down, Rose. Let me pull the gimbal down see where she's at. Where is she? Is she back in the ditch again? <laughs> she is. Why is she doing that? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know she's right in the sun. This was pitiful camera angle decisions. But she's starting to come down a little bit. Uh, well, she's slow, but she's coming. She'll be out of the sun in, a, in a, just a second. But she is going to land right in that dirt again. And there she is. Look at this. 
She's slowing down. I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna try to land in the dirt again. I don't like that, Rose. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? You're gonna let the Phantom Four. I gotta stop it because I don't want her to land in the dirt. But look at this again. She's a good. I'd say 15 feet away from that landing pad. That is weird. Having some problems today. Let's get her landed here, and we'll get the Phantom Four Pro out, and we'll see what he can do. Landing. I think it was 15 feet at least that she was off. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. I'm gonna pace this off and see exactly how far off she was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven feet away from the landing spot. That is the worst I've ever seen her do. Wow, that was awful. If you got any suggestions, I'm all ears. <laughs> all right, well, I guess it's time to go get the Phantom 4. I need to change the GoPro battery. I'll be back in just a minute. Well, it'll be a split second for you. Just to show you that you can leave this hood on, this clips in just like it would with a normal uh, cover and snaps in and everything is, everything is secure. Oop. All right, guys, well, now it's time to get the beast put together. I got to get the props put together and I got to get the controller all set up. This could take a few minutes. <laughs> this is the hardest part, trying to figure out which prop goes where. They say that there's a marking, but I don't know where it's at. I just got lucky on that one. <laughs> got all four props solid here. Let me get a battery. You guys see how big this battery is? What stinks is I've got to get away from the truck in order to get everything turned on, or the compass is going to be totally whacked out. We're off for our hike. <laughs> Again, I say the landing pad is almost too small. <laughs> guys, I'm really having trouble seeing this screen today. This is horrible. It looks like we're back on that screen that says it wants me to update all the return to home points and stuff Hello, like that. So, has been updated. well, thank Please you. Check it on the map. Thank you, Martha. It was great to hear your voice again. So I've got to figure out how to get out of this. There it is, X. Okay, so now we're on the main screen. How many satellites do we have? We've got 12 satellites with the Phantom 4 here, and the screen's making it so difficult for me. This might not be very fun, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get everything started. I want to get him out. And we're going to hit return to home and see how close he is to the home point. This may be a little bit more tricky getting it recorded as far as him landing on the spot, unless he does his precision landing like he's supposed to. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pull the sticks in and get him started. I'm going to go straight up into the air. I think it said we got to go up 30 feet, like I said before, to get precision landing set in. So we're up 35, 37 feet actually. So we'll let him sit there for a second or two. All right, so look at him. A markedly bigger difference between him and the Mini 2. <laughs> okay, let me get him raised up a little bit more. I'm going to go straight out like 500 feet. And we'll get, we'll get this going here. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to hit this return to home button. I'm going to hold it down. I hope that he initiated coming home. Alright, he's turning around towards us. He's due right out in front of us right now. So I think he's going to go up to 177 feet to return home but he is directly out in front of us. So we might be able to get some good sun in this picture <laughs> as he comes down. <laughs> but I got to remember the, the, the return home buttons on the right side of this controller. So if I got to cancel it, I got to keep the camera in my left hand. So let me, uh, let me get the GoPro up on him. Yeah, that's some great camera work, Kevin. <laughs> I don't think he's going to pull his gimbal down for us. So we're not going to know exactly where he's at. But it looks like he's right over top of us. He should say that he's going to be landing any time. What's the screen say? 178 feet up. And now she said that we're landing. So he started his descent here. He's, he's turning. He's, he's uh, turning his uh, gimbal backwards or front or something. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Is he finding precision landing? Is that what? I can't really read the screen, but it looks like the precision landing thing popped up for a second there. So he's definitely closer than Rose was. I can, I can give him that. So switching over to the GoPro here, it looks like he might be on the pad. I'm not sure though. <laughs> We're gonna find out. All right, man, you, you, you definitely did better than Rose, but let's see if the precision landing actually worked. It looks like it may have. Isn't that something? Directly in the middle of the, of the pad. That was perfect. Guys, I think you were right about that truck causing interference with these uh, Phantom 4s. <laughs> now that was a great result with this. Rose, we got some work to do. I'm gonna go put all this stuff away. We'll have a little conclusion inside the truck where I can get some air conditioning going. Did you guys hear that bird? I think it may have been a big bird. If you guys think I'm exaggerating about the heat, check this out. Look at that shirt, soaking wet. <laughs> Fat boy sweats. 
So here's the consensus. Today, the Phantom 4 Pro beat the Mini 2 on the return to home precision landing. However, if the Phantom 4 Pro makes me sweat this much, I ain't getting it. It ain't worth 400 bucks to me. <laughs> I, think I, might, I think I might just go all out for the Air 3 or something. Holy cow. If you guys have any suggestions or any comments on what Rose did wrong to end up where she was 15 feet or 11 feet off the pad both times, please let me know in the comments. I understood the first one because I didn't do a compass calibration initially, but I did a compass calibration for the second flight and it didn't help at all. And before I did the first flight, I did an IMU and a gimbal calibration because the gimbal was a little bit crooked, so I thought. I've been here like an hour shooting this video and the temperature raised almost 10 degrees. So I think by two o'clock it's gonna be about 120 degrees. That sounds about right. <laughs> anyway, speaking of which, I gotta get home and mow. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless.